All right, welcome to our circle uh, creating session. We're in this session, we're going to be learning how to create a circle in uh, many different ways, as, as long as well as arcs. So to get started, let's go up here to uh, create a circle and cl let's click on create circle center point. Okay, this is the simplest one of them all, but uh, you have the option basically to um, select an X, Y, and Z. So there's a, your plus X or plus Y. And you can tell it, I want it to circle to start, say, at plus 2 in the X and then plus 2 in the Y. And then press Enter. And that will give me, that already basically placed a point for me in plus 2, plus 2. And then I want to tell it now the radius for that point. So if I want the radius to be 2.0, there you go. So this is plus 2 in the X and then plus 2 in the Y. And I place a circle that is a 2 inch radius. So this is your radius and then this is your diameter. Okay, the plus one indicates here, uh, if you want to change your point, you click on the plus one and then you can change the location of that startup point. All right, so to go over here again, let's go to create arc polar now. Okay, for arc polar, you have the chance to, to click on one point and then just click on another and then it will give you the option to do an arc with the first point being the midpoint and the second point being the radius of that part. And then the, you know, the third point is basically how far you want, how big you want that arc. So that, that's an option to use basically if you don't want to draw a full circle. If you come over here to the flip, you can flip the selection. So instead of so have the, the outer one selected, you can have the other one selected. You can change your radius from three if you want to two. So it made my radius smaller with that origin being in the same place. You can also change the angle, okay? Let's go over here to create circle edge point. And this one is selecting, a, a make, a, drawing a circle but using three points. So if I select this, the origin over here, select another point, it also give me a third point to create my circle. So if I click on over here, now you're going to notice that there's a plus one, plus two, and plus three. Now those are for redoing your points. Say you don't like where your third point was, you click on the plus three and it allows you to change where that third point is where you want the location of the third point is and then I can change it to right here. Okay, now if you want to draw a circle with two endpoints, you can do that. You can click on the two endpoints and then you can draw one and just two. Okay, so you can draw a circle with only two endpoints with both of them being endpoints. So if you notice the first one, the first uh, um, endpoint is at the center and the second one is at the edge. In this one, they're all at the edge. All the endpoints that you're choosing are at the edge. Okay. Let's go to create arc endpoints. If you go to create our endpoints, click on one point, click on another, and then basically this allows you to create a, you know, an arc. This is useful, say, if you draw a line. So I'm going to draw like a line right from right here to here. And I want to draw then the arc endpoints for it. So I go from here to here. And I draw a little arc. And then I state the radius to say like 1.5. So this is a 1.5 radius arc. Okay. Again, there's a radius and the diameter. You can choose whatever one you want to use for that. All right. Again, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the arc, uh, create arc three points. So this is the same thing as endpoints, but it's with three points. So there's one, two, and then there's a third endpoint. So you can choose wherever you want it to be. If you actually click it on that line, it's infinite. So that's why it's not created. Or you can click like something like that. Okay, and you can change any of your endpoints with these options. Come over here and click on the down arrow and let's go to create arc polar endpoint. Now before I do that, let me draw a line again for you. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit, create a line right here. And let's go to create arc endpoint. So if I select my midpoint and then select the edge, it's going to create a circle right here. And say if I click on the other edge, it's going to create a circle on that edge on, on the opposite edge as well, okay? And the radius is already um, specified over here and the diameter over here as well as an angle, all right? And last but not least, we can go to create tangent, arc tangent, and say if I click on this circle and click on this circle, it'll create a circle on the inside and outside. Now, if I click on one of them, you know, basically you have all of those highlighted, but it's because it's asking you which one do you want to keep? And say I want to keep this one, I click on here and it keeps this one. Okay, so let me let me uh, draw a few circles cleanly for you. Maybe it will show up a little bit better because there's there was a lot of uh, um, endpoints over there on the other side. So there's one circle, and there's another, 
and let me go back to the create arc tangent one two now this was specified to be one inch okay now you have a lot of options here you can do um you, you got to select these options basically before, but you can do from line to line to line and have that circle basically be um, hitting every single one of the lines. Uh, you can have a circle just making sure that it attaches to the edges or basically for making a fillet or a radius. Uh, you can have one perpendicular to a line uh, at, or at the center point, I'm sorry, of a perpendicular line. Um, you can have uh, as many options as you like. So for this one, if I want to keep one of those, I'll click on one and it keeps just one a half of one of my circles now if I go over here I'll say I want one of these okay now for this one if I click on one circle click on the other and click on this one and it will give me that circle in between all three circles okay so it just depends what you want to use if I click on the tangent point if I click on the this line and then this this one so the radius is value is one it's too small to create an arc and it will say minimum value to do so is 1.8 so to do so i'll just come over here to radius and click 2 and then do this this is again so i'm going to click on this point and click on this arc and it will create a, a circle with radius of 2 and then i'll, I'll tell it i want to keep this one okay so there you go and this concludes uh, the session to learning how to create a different uh, circles and arcs so this will uh, help you get started uh, in this tutorial to um uh, get going and get started by drawing your radiuses, your arcs uh, in your two, 2D sketches that you'll be beginning every exercise with.